The grace of thanksgiving. From the text that we read earlier, let's forget about the healing. The healing matters, but it's not the core today. The core is the thing that surrounded that event. The fact that out of ten lepers, only one came back to give thanks. You will understand, therefore, that just as it, as it was then, it is also, even today, there are some people that are takers. Others are givers. Takers take, givers give. Just that single leper amongst the ten was a giver. He turned back and came back to give thanks. Hallelujah. But takers lose out a lot. Let me share a story with you. When I was a lot younger. Hallelujah. I know I'm still young. I'm just uh, I'm actually 14 years old now. I was 13 last year. I'm talking about the 1980s, you know, as a bush boy. I did not know there was some. Don't laugh at me, I beg. Because I know there are a lot of Ajewatas here. For me, I'll be willing to go. I didn't know there is anything they call answer phone. So, we have phone, you know that uh, rotary phone in my office. That's what we used to call the big and mighty who have phones in their homes or offices. So, there is this big man in Lagos. I just called his number. I just got the number, he gave me the number about two days before then. I said, let me say hello to Chief. And I heard his voice on the other end. I thought it was him that was talking. <laughs> I didn't know it was a recorded message. <laughs> me, I just started rapping like a rap boy. I don't you, I don't know, I was talking. Because I, I thought he was the one that was Okay. All the things I was saying, at some point, the machine stopped and was recording what I didn't know. But I just said, ah, nobody was responding to what I was saying. I kept quiet. I stopped at some point. The following day, the man now called my office. And I said, I said, but well, you didn't say anything. I hope you're okay, sir. He said, you were talking to a machine. I said, sure. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know there was anything like that. That's for you to understand that at that time, the main story I now want to tell you is this. Just about that time, fax machines came. Not too many offices or homes had fax machines. But because I was working in the newsroom. We had one electronic fax machine that news agency of Nigeria used to send in news to us. But that was a special kind of was as big as this. A very complex and convoluted uh, mechanism. That was the only thing we used it for. But when this set of new fax machines now came, my general manager, Alaji Itzakafago, he had one in his office. So the daughter came to the office one day and said, Abad, you know what? This fast machine is useful. It's cheaper. There's no need posting letters or anything to anybody anymore. Just be faxing everything. When you want it's faster, it's cheaper, is that? Abad like said, there are certain things you don't go, but you don't fast. You post them so that people will have a feel of it. Where I'm, coming, where I'm going to is the fact that when we talk about Thanksgiving, it is active, it is not passive. The one you are giving it to must understand that truly this one is giving, it's appreciating me. You said thanks, that's how you appreciate. 
Let me finish the story. The Baba was always telling this girl, this don't, don't too much glorify technology. He now came, she went for her youth service. And she was serving in NC Bauchi. They also had a new fast machine. So general manager to general manager. On the girl's birthday, the Baba now gives you the check. Place it in the fax machine. <laughs> and fax it to her. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so <laughs> the girl now phoned Baba and said, ah, what load of nonsense. Ah, did you not collect the check? <laughs> She said, well, it's no use. You fancy it. Was it not weak? <laughs> it is active. Yes, she got it, but it was useless. When you say you want to thank the Lord, you thank Him practically, you give thanks practically. Yes. Hallelujah. The young lady learned some life lessons. It's not everything that glitter that is good. There are certain things you don't just say God understands that my heart is full of joy. I really appreciate it. No, demonstrate it in his presence. I challenge you this morning. Yes, God knows. But do you make that extra effort to make him appreciate that truly he's called? How many times have you actually taken away to thank him Sunday? How many times have you thought of, Lord, all I want to do is just to give you something. Read someone in tune for us. Just the first verse. It is already settled. 
that no challenge can come his way anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the same light, because we are in his presence today, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every tribulation that the enemies have planned concerning you, they are permanently cancelled. Give thanks. You give thanks. When you are not thankful, when you are thankless, first, it is a trait of non believers. It is a trait of non believers. Luke chapter 12, verse 15. Then he said to them, Watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. Romans 1 21. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Your heart shall not be foolish. Amen. It shall not be darkened. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, they became vain in their imagination. They were neither thankful. So anybody who is not thankful is vain in their imagination. Is foolish in their heart. Their heart is darkened. Your heart shall not be darkened. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is important, children of God, for you and I to have that grace. The grace of thanksgiving. Second Chronicles chapter 5. Somebody read 13 for us. Let be quick because I really want us to, to give thanks today. Second Chronicles 5. Verse 13. Verse 13. Verse 13. One thing. It came to pass. Yes. As the trumpeters and the singers were as one. Uh -huh. To make one sound. Yes. To be heard in the praising and thanking the Lord. Yes. And when they lifted up their voice. Uh -huh. With the trumpet and cymbals. Yes. An instrument of music. Yes. And praise uh -huh. the Lord. Yes. Say, uh -huh. for He is good. Yes. For His mercy and Are Lord. you going to say today that for He is good and His mercy endureth forever? If you do so today, God will surprise you. Amen. I say, God will surprise you. Amen. Oh, yeah, look at Second Corinthians four, verse fifteen. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse one five. Let's be quick, let's be quick. We have a lot of passage to do. Yes. Also the reports, the troubles, the works, uh -huh. and all their articles. Yes. Kurak is a master. Kurak made a quality bronze for the Solomon. Yes. For the house of the Lord. Yes. In the plane of Jordan. Uh-huh. Think and cast his clay mold. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For all things are for your sakes. That the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many rebound to the glory of God. Hallelujah. For all things are for your sakes. When you thank God, it's not for his sake. Am I talking to somebody? When you thank God, it is for your sake. God says, I should tell somebody, the challenge that think they have swallowed you, they will let you go today. Amen. They will let you go today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So when you thank God, primarily it is for your sake. You are the number one beneficiary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 11. 2 Corinthians 9 11. 9 11. Yes, sir. Being a rich in everything to so all beautifulness. Uh huh. Which causes true of thanksgiving to God. Yes. Give thanks unto the Lord. When you give thanks unto the Lord, those beautiful things will come your way. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there a believer in this house today? Hallelujah. Is there a believer in this house today? Hallelujah. So be thankful. When we are not thankful unto him, God is displeased with us. 
and he lives to a downward spirit. That shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Give it thanks always for all things unto God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourself one to another in the fear of God. That is what Ephesians 5 tells us. Verses 20 to 21. Now Colossians chapter 3 verse 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. In all things that you do. You all look so beautiful and handsome. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why are well done? You are very radiant. Amen. Very, very radiant. I wanted to join them on Wednesday. They said, no, I can't join choir. I said, but I have the voice. They were eating meat fire. And I wanted to join them so that I would get my portion. They, they saw through me. God bless. Amen. God bless. Amen. Children of God, God bless. Amen. I noticed certain things this morning. I noticed that some people had already taken off their shoes. <laughs> I suppose they are very ready to dance. I don't know who I'm talking to, but. <laughs> Praise the Lord. First Thessalonians 5 16, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. What does that mean? This is the will of God concerning you. Will you not do His will? Don't you want his will to come to pass? He said, give thanks in everything. That is why it makes sense to set aside a day like this just to give thanks to the Lord. When you give thanks unto him, even while you are going through challenges, I can imagine Daniel, when he was put in that den of lions, he must have been giving thanks unto the Lord and say, Lord, I thank you. That I'm even here, I thank you. That I'm a threat to the territory of the enemies, I thank you. I can imagine Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they were put in that fiery furnace, thanking God and saying, Lord, I thank you. Because at the end of this, it will end in praise. Because at the end of this experience, we will, our experience, share with others, and they will serve you. Have you ever thought about that? Even when you are going through any challenge in your life. And saying, God, I thank you for this challenge. Because there is a reason why I'm going through it. I'm going through it because you want my life to be a testimony. I'm going through it because I know that I can never be defeated. Since you cannot be defeated, I still give you time. Child of God, let us cultivate a habit of thanksgiving. Not just for one Sunday in a month. Not just for two and a half hours in a Sunday. For every day and in all things. That which you have started, that the Lord has started with you, He will come to a glorious end. He will come to a glorious conclusion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know we have quite a number of testimonies. So we'll go give one. Give an allowance for that today. Normally we, we rush and rush and rush, and it's not moving up. That will give us enough time. I want you to stand up to that. Number. I want you to stand up. Just begin to thank the Lord for everything. 